I was going through... I was stepping into, like, new adventures. I was going to open mics for the first time ever and, like, singing in front of people for the first time ever. And, um... As well as dating a woman for the first time ever. In my bedroom um, in Bristol, UK. I, I really genuinely liked boys and so despite there being that sort of niggling doubt in my mind about what what it meant to also be attracted to girls I just I, I found a very um, I, I, I became um, able to really repress that voice unfortunately in many ways because I just sort of like focused on 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 men and, and boys and, and followed the crowd. And over the years, you know, I've had I've had so many um, moments along my journey of like 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 sheer panic of what if you know what if um, I'm a lesbian. Up where I am gifted the role of Waverly Earp. I opened the script and I read that first scene and my heart just dropped right into my gut. Like, and I just thought, wow, this is where I'm going to have to finally come to terms with this. This is where I'm going to have to deal with it. My people come to me with their stories their coming out stories and you know that it, it was it was it was equal parts amazing and equal parts really challenging um promoting pride promoting you know us standing in our authenticity and our pride and i there was this huge part of the puzzle that was that was missing and i but i also and so i would i would have like these really really challenging moments where i would be at at a convention longer I wish I had more courage I wish I could be something else for these people sometimes growth both within society and inner acceptance can seem like a very lengthy and lonely experience but you're not alone i am here to tell you that you are seen you are heard and you my friend <laughs> are beautiful just the way you are <laughs>